here with Mr. Ryan. He is on his horse chair. I'm on my horse, Benton. Now, we want you to get your horses ready so you can do warm-ups with us. Now, we're going to do something a little bit different today, Ryan. Are you okay. ready for something exciting and fun? I'm ready. Awesome. We're going to do the YMCA first to warm up our arms. So we're going to first do it really slow, and then we're going to get faster as we go. Here we go. Ready? I'm ready. Y-M-C-A. -A. Okay, can we go a little bit faster? Yeah, but when you go A, you got to clap your hands. Oh, I got to clap my hands. Okay, here we go, friends. Ready? Y-M-C-A. Yeah! Here we yeah, go. that's good. Ready? Y-M-C-A. Okay, one more time. You think you can stay with faster? me? Faster? Yeah. Woo! Here we go. All right. Y-M-C-A. Nice job, friends. We need to warm up our legs, do you think? Yep. Okay. We're going to do some toe touches. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to put your right hand in the air, and you're going to reach down and try to touch your left toe. My left toe is way too far away. I cannot reach that without falling off my horse. Can you touch yours? Well, pretend you're like in a stirrup. Oh, so you want me to bring my leg up so yeah. I can touch my leg? Yeah. Let's see. <gasps> I still can't touch. Hmm. Mm. I can. Man. Okay, let's do our left arm and see if we can touch our right toes. Here we go. <sighs> Welcome to this episode of Farm Buddies Friends. Today, we are gonna talk all about the American Quarter Horse. Now, the American Quarter Horse is a warm blood, and it's not just any warm blood, it's America's warm blood. Now, you might be thinking, why is it called a quarter horse? Well, they got their name because of their ability to outrun other breeds in races of a quarter mile or less. So that is why they're called quarter horses. Now, they were originally bred for farming and working cattle and just basic riding. Let's learn about some of their characteristics. Hey, Ryan, can you bring Buddy over here? Sure. Mr. Ryan is riding Buddy today, and Buddy is one of our quarter horses here at Loveway. Now, if you look at Buddy, he is strong but short. He has a nice, kind, calm, easy to get along with personality, and he's really intelligent. So, if you remember when we talked about hot-blooded horses and cold-blooded horses, he has that nice, calm personality like a cold-blooded horse, but he's really intelligent and curious like a hot-blooded horse. Now today, quarter horses are used for a whole lot of things, but what we're going to talk about specifically in this video is about cow herding, so working cows, barrel racing, and western pleasure. So let's go learn! All right, friends, now we're going to herd some cows. So I got a bunch of cows out here in the arena and Buddy and I are gonna herd them back over by the letter E to where they're gonna live. So let's go herd some cows together. Thank you. 
All right, let's learn a little bit about barrel racing. So barrel racing is a speed event, which means that the fastest person wins. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the barrel pattern with Miracle. We're gonna go around three barrels and see how fast we can go. I'll meet you in the arena. Western Pleasure is an event where the rider and the horse work together as a team and they go walk and then a jog and a lope. So walk, jog, and lope are three different gates or speeds at which the horse goes. And the winner is the team that looks the prettiest. So the ones that look the prettiest are the ones that win. So let's go watch Miracle and I do some walk and jog and lope. All right, friends, now that we learned about different ways that people use American Quarter Horses today, let's talk about where in the world the American Quarter Horse is from. The American Quarter Horse is from North America. Now, remember, they were originally bred to do farming, working cattle, and different types of riding. Now, why do you think it's important that we should know about the American Quarter Horse? Well, one of the reasons is to know their characteristics and how they might interact with us together as a horse and a human. Now, it's really important to know about American Quarter Horses here at Loveway because of their size and their strength. They can work with a whole bunch of different people. How cool is that? So, I hope you enjoyed learning about the American Quarter Horse today with me, friends. Let's go and read a book together. here today buddy and I are going to read the squirrels who squabbled <clears throat> in a towering forest where summer had been the leaves turned to gold as a cold wind blew in and as autumn arrived with the sky raging red the sleepiest creatures got ready for bed while well, up in the tree swung a flighty young squirrel who everyone knew as spontaneous Searle now, most foresty folks had seen to their needs, though the plentiful months of mushrooms and seeds, they built up their stores so they'd all be well fed through the frosting of winter that glittered ahead. But Cyril, he lived in the now and the here. He adventured and partied his way through the year. His cupboards were empty, his hollow was bare. He hadn't a mouthful of food anywhere. But wait! What was that? Over there? Take a look. A single lone pine cone wedged in a nook. He squealed with delight and for a very good reason. For inside were the very last nuts of the season. But Cyril wasn't alone. There was more hungry eyes. Yes, plan ahead Bruce had his sights on the prize. Though he gathered fresh treasures of every sort, Bruce was convinced he was one pine cone short. I must simply have it, he wistfully cried as he dreamt of the fresh, juicy pine nuts inside. Look at his big stack. So, as Searle set off on his way to the ground, Bruce, he was also less pine cone bound. 
They sprinted and scurried with no time to gamble. They scratched at the bark in their squampering scramble, but their panic and haste shook the tips of the spruce and the pine cone, it trembled, and then it came loose. Both squirrels gave chase as a lightning pace. This was the start of the wild nutty race. It's mine, shouted Cyril. No, mine, hollered Bruce. You don't stand a chance. Give up. It's no use. I'm hungry, cried Cyril. This cone is not yours. Stay back, shouted Bruce. This cone's for my stores. It boinged over bushes and flew through the air. It binged on the nose of a slumbering bear. It bounced over boulders, then came to a... Stop! Then teetered and wobbled and quivered and plop! Both squirrels followed. Oh, the water was fast. Would they learn that they needed each other at last? But each was intent on how he could win, so they didn't quite notice a bird swooping in. Cyril and Bruce, they watched in dismay as their cone disappeared and up up and away. Come back, shouted Cyril. There are nuts, exclaimed Bruce. But all hope was gone. It was simply no use. And meanwhile, they drifted right up to the ledge. Greed it was driving them over the edge. Cyril and Bruce, they had taken a fall. They were paying the price for wanting it all. They squandered their chances to team up and share. Would their nutty young hope simply end in despair? Bruised and bedraggled, they swept past dry land. Cyril grabbed at a branch with a trembling hand, catching Bruce with the other. He heaved and he huffed and pulled him to saf safety with panting and puffs. They dragged themselves up with sputtering wiggles. Then Bruce looked at Cyril and exploded in giggles. How silly we are, he managed to mutter. How greedy I've been, he pre proclaimed with a splutter. We shall change from today. May the squabbling cease. We should celebrate seeing we're both in one piece. From that day forward, they made a great pair. They would gather together and found they could share. Yes, Cyril and Bruce, they knew in the end. The best thing to share is a laugh with your friend. The end. I hope you had fun reading this book today with me and Buddy.